All right, we're on day 19 of Jenny's Countdown to Christmas, so let's see what's in this cute bag. It's a fabric for a project that might happen later or already has a project, like, in it. Um, I can't think of what else it might be. Somebody else had a good suggestion yesterday in the comments of it being, um, like, a tea towel or something like that. So let's see. It's quilt labels. So it's it's like a um, piece of fabric that has, it looks like different quilt labels on it. So it says Missouri Star quilt labels, bright fat quarter. So let's see what they look like. That's fun. I've, I know it's bad to say I have never put a quilt label on one of my quilts. I'm always so excited to be near the end and getting ready to finish it up that I never think to. So let's see. So the, I think this is really fun. I will definitely try them out. Um, I don't know how to attach a quilt label because I've never <laughs> done it before, um, but I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials on how to do it. Um, the only thing I can think right off the bat is that, you know, because these are so, they are so bright and colorful is that picking one to go with the quilt that you made might be hard. I don't know. And how do you put like what you want it to say on it? Do you stitch it on? I don't know that I would take the time to do that. I think my, my um, sewing machine does do lettering and everything I can put in. Um, what I would want it to say. So maybe that's not, I would probably do that. That wouldn't take as long. Um, or maybe cut on my Cricut some um, heat transfer vinyl and put it on. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't <laughs> stitch it. It's funny because I've done cross stitch a lot before and I actually enjoy it. Um, but doing something like writing a message on here would not be fun for me doing an actual design like the last one I did was like a jar with flowers in it that is really fun for me I like sitting there and doing that while I watch a show or something but um, doing something like this that would be to me busy work would not be fun um, but I'm excited to try one of these I think they're I think maybe you could probably find one on here since there's so many colors to go with whatever quilt you had. I'm excited to try it. I don't hate this. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I really should put labels on my quilt. So this will give me an incentive to actually try, try and figure out how you do it. So that is fun. I think this is a really thoughtful day. Um, I like this one better, a lot better than yesterday's. I just, for me, and it's not that I think the vinyl wall decal is ugly or that um you know that there wasn't thought there i think a lot of people will like it it's just not for me i don't put vinyl stuff on my walls i've um mine are covered in um pictures and um mostly pictures of my family but mine are covered in pictures and paintings i did in the past and um quilts and stuff i just I've never been into the look of vinyl wall stuff. And I, that's just a difference, just like how I didn't like the gnome, we're all gonna be different on what we like and that's fine. Um, okay, so with that said, cause I kind of felt bad that I was pretty harsh yesterday. And um, so it's not that I think it's a bad, like, like a bad present or gift to give in this thing. It's not that, it's just that it's not something that's for me. Um, so with that said, I did look it up on their site. That one is not on there, but they have a bunch of car decals and I figured that would probably be about the same pricing because they're both gonna use vinyl. Um, the car one that I found, most of them around $9. So that brought the value of the box now up to $172.75. So I think we're really on track for having great value because I think now we're already past what we paid for the box and we still have um what is it six more days so i think the value in the box is definitely there um and especially with that 15 dollar gift card we got now i think we're gonna we're definitely have going to have done pretty good for our money so 
let's take a look at 20. I think it's some sort of a book maybe. I don't know. Like um, a pad of notebook paper. I don't know. Oh, you know what it could be? Um, I've purchased them before, like the crazy uh, paper piecing type kits. Maybe it's something like that, although it is it is long, and I don't know if they have any that are squares. I don't know. We'll have to see tomorrow, you guys. So come back and see what day 20 is, and then that'll be just five more days. Ugh, I can't believe we're already getting to the end because this has been a lot of fun. And I hope that I am able to sign back up next year because I'm already set that I want to because that was, it was a lot of fun seeing what was in all these. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great, great, great weekend, you guys. Bye.